hello danny gang so i am out on a long walk i just wanted to like get in nature and i found this beautiful little lake or whatever with this rock path um by my apartment and i'm utterly obsessed so i've only been walking about 30 minutes i did a mile so i want to do like three miles but is this not a gorgeous little place to walk and get exercise so i was gonna bring oh that reminds me of like the scene in it but anyway i was gonna bring benji but it's like 85 maybe 89 degrees and I know you're not supposed to walk the dog in that type of weather and i knew i wanted to be out for a long time but look at this it is stunning it is stunning out here and it's so crazy that it's right here in between like houses back there and houses on the side it's kind of placed in such a unique area but i've seen geese turtles fish so anyway just wanted to come say hello i was gonna go to the gym today but i decided to just get outside and walk so love that for me but anyway let me keep walking and i'll see you guys in my next clip like i said i want to do three miles i'm at 1.9 so we'll see how much i can walk Hello, Danny gang. The last time y'all saw me was I think yesterday when I was outside working out. How are y'all? Hopefully y'all doing okay. Today is Saturday and clearly I'm dressed to go to the gym. I also am doing Grubhub as one does. I've only had one order since I came outside, but it was for $11. It was 14 miles, but it's okay. I, I took it. I took it to get started and I like to do like at least five miles so 11 that was still in my five mile like radius that i will take like if it I, i've told y'all this before but anyway happy saturday um a small disclaimer i do have starbucks um i do not support starbucks um in that way it is still free palestine i am truly sympathize with palestine and i will always support i've posted it on all my social medias i've mentioned it on my social medias that it will always be free palestine um i did have some starbucks money so i went ahead and used it and that's just that um i did get a um what i always get an iced quad espresso in a venti cup i did get two pumps of white mocha in here and now i'm about to add my heavy cream just wanted to do a disclaimer because i didn't want nobody coming to my comments like oh my god is that starbucks it is starbucks and i understand that i understand what's going on in the world and i understand starbucks is premise and their stand um but i did have a gift card so i'm gonna go ahead and pour this cream in there hopefully that wasn't too much but it is a large drink Coffee porn. So, got that out the way. But anyway, happy Saturday. Y'all, I'm super, super, super excited because I will be coming back later and I will be unboxing my Aura Ring. So, I ordered an Aura Ring with FSA and it is going to arrive today. Y'all know that I wear my Apple Watch religiously, but I wanted another um, fitness, but not even fitness tracker, health tracker to just track like my sleep. It gives you a readiness score for the day. It tracks your cycles closely because y'all know um, with all of my dermatology and my dermatologist prescribed medications, it just kind of throws me off as far as like um, birth control and all that. So I got an aura ring 
to aid me in my just health and overall health consciousness and i'm super excited so we're gonna unbox that later i also of course have my water with me because at some point i do want to branch out and hit the gym so i'm already dressed and ready for the gym that's one thing that i like to do early on saturdays come out do a little grub hub but be dressed for the gym because when grub hub slow down i have no excuse i'm already dressed i'm already out just go to the gym rather i'm gonna do cardio or whatever what else is going on i think that's about it i'm super excited for my aura ring also over on my book channel i'm getting a new e-reader so i will be unboxing that as well at some point and posting that video by the time y'all see this video i think that video will already have been posted so y'all will see but happy saturday i don't have any other plans today we may hang out with like with babe's sister and his nieces and nephews later i don't know but i don't have no plans i want it to be real chill um i lost a dear friend a work friend y'all know how y'all become friends with like the 50 to 60 year olds at your job and older that was my case i came really friend i became really friendly with one of the ladies that work with me and she unexpected she unexpectedly passed um on wednesday i want to say and yeah she just didn't show up and when her family called to let us know i was the one to answer the phone so it's been kind of a tough week i've been thinking about her a lot and uh her funeral is next week so i also need to drive around and see if i can find something to wear um my job will be closed the day of the funeral so everybody can go which i thought was exceptional like thank you so much because i was going anyway that was my girl ah, i had a long cry Y'all ever been in that situation where you see somebody one day and the next is just like gone? She was only like 54. So, just know this week has been a little bit tough for me. And I think she was at the company like over 10 years, something crazy. So, anyway, I don't want to cry. Just wanted to kind of let y'all know where I was, why I've been missing. I had a lot going on this past week at work and it was like very difficult to just be there. So I'm happy that it's the weekend and I'm able to just like get some fresh air and just like breathe. So anyway, I'm going to keep doing Grubhub and if I don't get a pink, we're gonna go to the gym. So just wanted to come and say hi and I'll probably be back when I'm unboxing the aura ring and I'm together. All right, gang, so I told y'all I would come back when I was going to be unboxing my aura ring, and it is here. Babe and I just got back in. We went out and celebrated St. Patrick's Day a little bit, I guess. We went downtown, ran some errands, stopped, had a beer, had some uh, early dinner, so real cute. I'll put some pictures on the side of the screen. I don't know what it is about being out but I often forget to vlog nowadays and I'm gonna get better at it. I don't know if it's cause I'm like actually enjoying the moment more or I don't know what it is, but I will pop some pictures on the side of the screen. And if you saw us um, on Instagram, it's in real time. But yeah, I got my aura ring. And I talked about my aura ring a little bit earlier in the vlog, just letting y'all know why I was interested in it, why I decided to get it. Um, the aura ring is a little bit pricey, but like I said, I used my FSA. I want to say my aura ring came out to over $300. However, the technology that comes with the aura ring is absolutely fantastic and it should be a sleek look. So without that being said, I am going to just grab a knife and open it. So I told y'all the reasons why I got an aura ring and I mainly got an aura ring to track like my menstrual cycles and to keep track of all that I also got an aura ring to kind of look at my sleep monitor my sleep and my readiness for the day so that's why I got mine there are a lot of different other reasons why um, you should get one it tracks a lot of things but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so they actually got one as well and his came in maybe two and a half weeks ago. So I will say if you order it from like Aura.com like I did because I use my benefits, my FSA, I have I guess a common ring size and that's why shipping took a long time. Um, and I will say before you purchase your Aura ring, go by Best Buy. Babe and I went to Best Buy. We tried on all the rings. There are different styles. There are different colors. There are different shapes. 
So you really got to try on a ring that you think you would like. Just keep in mind the different styles. Some cost more, some cost less. So it just depends on what, what you can afford and what style you like. So this is the box that it comes in. And I am going to pan you guys down so you can kind of really see um, how it comes. So let me pan y'all down and then we'll really open it up. I'll try it on and we'll really get into it. So give me one second. Let me pan y'all down. Okay, now that I have y'all panned down and the view is pretty much perfect, let's go ahead and open it up. So as you guys can see, it does come super protected in this brown box. And then here is the aura ring. Y'all, I'm very, very, very excited because I know this is going to help me. Like I said, I'm still going to be wearing my Apple Watch daily. My aura ring is more so to track my overall health, my menstrual cycles, and my sleep. Whereas my Apple Watch is like my steps and just like my fitness overall. So that's why I would have two different things. So this is what the box looks like. It just says Aura. It also just has this little O right here, making sure y'all are in frame. And then this is what it looks like. So I went with the Silver Heritage one and I got this one because as y'all know, I wear silver all the time. That is my preferred um, jewelry color, jewelry choice. So it comes with the ring, which is absolutely gorgeous. I can already tell it's the color silver that I like. Um, and then it also comes with like this little thing that it's sitting in. And that is the charger. So like I said, Babe got his a couple weeks ago. So I kind of already know a little bit about it. And I'm excited to, you know, use it for myself. So that's what that comes with. And then it also comes with the charger, of course, super sleek. Now, what I will say about this is you do have to pay for a secondary subscription, which is about $5.99 a month to be able to utilize all the features. However, I think it's worth it if you want to keep track. I am older, in my 30s, and I just want to start keeping track of my menstrual cycle, especially if I want to have children or if I'm thinking about that, I need to go ahead and track it. So it comes with the charger, which is really nice. I love how it is wrapped up. And then, of course, it just comes with, like, the booklets and the manuals. So, I'm going to go ahead and fold that up and close that up. So, yeah, this is the ring. Let me make sure y'all are in focus. Hold on, I can't see. Give me a second. So, this is the ring. And, like I said, it seems like it's a nice color. So, you're supposed to wear your ring on your pointer finger. Um, and it's supposed to fit nice and snug. Mine does. So this is what it looks like. And I think that's cute. Now, me personally, they say wear it on a pointer. But I can see myself wearing it on the middle as well. I think the middle is much cuter. But basically, inside the ring are also kind of like these prongs. And that is going to be, of course, checking your temperature each morning and things of that nature. You're supposed to keep this ring on, shower in this ring, do everything in this ring. And you have an app that you use to where you can kind of see what's going on. So that is my aura ring, y'all. I'm super excited to go ahead and set it up. And in future videos, I will definitely come back maybe like in a month. Let me wear it for a month and see how I like it. I will come back and update you guys. But right now i'm gonna go set it up and i will see you guys in my video tomorrow see i'm still trying to figure out exactly how i put it on here to charge but i'm just gonna ask babe because he's been doing it so yeah got my aura ring if you guys have an aura ring are interested in it thought about it let me know your thoughts down below and i will update y'all as I go like i said i'll be wearing it y'all will be seeing it and i will come back with a follow-up video but yay super excited Dang. so it is sunday and we're just gonna keep this vlog going um i do have on my aura ring i do need a little bit of lotion but i do have on my aura ring now they say you're supposed to wear the ring on your less dominant hand just to avoid like scratches and all that and you are supposed to wear it on the pointer finger but y'all that's just so uncomfortable uncomfortable for me so i have it on my right hand my left hand on my right hand on the middle finger so 
So far, so good. I woke up this morning and I was able to look at like all my stats, my readiness score, my sleep score. And that is one thing that I really, really, really wanted to start paying attention to because I don't have a problem going to sleep, but I just want to like be able to just monitor my health better um, because your girl just wants to be healthy overall. It's not about being skinny or all that. And that is a shelf that I got from Five Below that we're actually about to go drop it off right now because I could not build it, first of all. It was super hard to build. And once I did build it, it was too short and small for the space that I wanted. So we're gonna go drop that off at Five Below. I got my receipt in my pocket. I will definitely look around and see if I see something to replace it. But if not, that's cool. I'm really trying to redo my side of the bed. I think I have told y'all this before, but my side of the bed is just very annoying. Babe always says it looks like a frat boy, frat house because I got so much stuff because I have like all my chargers, my laptop, my books that I might be reading or reviewing or taking pictures of or whatever for like my book channel. So I be having a lot going on on my side of the bed. So I really want to organize it. I've been looking on Amazon for like just organization things and stuff like that. And I just haven't been able to find what I'm looking for. And honestly, I would have kept that three-tiered shelf but um, and put it in like <clears throat> the half bath, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. Um, it was only $15, but I'm just gonna take it back. But that's what that was, if y'all heard that fall. But anyway, so um, other than that, I do have my Grubhub app on, cause y'all know I love a good Grubhub um, day. I turned it on yesterday, but like I told y'all, I didn't make too, too much money, so whatever. Um, it is St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day to those who celebrate. Um, and yeah, other than that, I did place an order for a Target pickup. I'm really, really, really going to strictly meal prep my lunch this week. Like, I prep lunch every week, but I don't ever really have a plan per se as of late. Like last week, I was hyper fixated on turkey sandwiches. I don't know why. So I had like a turkey sandwich every day with um, some hot fries that I weighed out. But this week, I think I'm gonna do ground turkey with mixed vegetables. Um, and then I might do make them like teriyaki style or something like that. So I'll show y'all all those groceries once we get home. Our freezer is already pretty packed. So I'm hoping with this week's meal prep, we can uh, pull some of that stuff out because I had to go ahead and buy <laughs> um, stuff that we needed. So we're gonna run in Five Below. Obviously, I'm gonna run in Barnes and Noble because it's right next door. Um, Cause I'm trying to look for my next book I want to read. But yeah, if y'all want to know more about books, uh, head over to my book channel. But yeah, just come in, checking in, let y'all know. I'm still trying to get used to this ring. I like the ring. Like I said, I wear a lot of silver um primarily so it it does go with my aesthetic it's just like i'm not used to wearing rings i'm not a ring person so i keep wanting to like twist it and like take it off because it just feels weird but babe said he got used to his kind of like after the first week because you're supposed to wear it non-stop like the first two weeks so it can get used to you but like i was saying um you definitely have to go try the ring on because my ring size i'm a size six but in aura i'm a size eight so you really have to try it on to kind of see and it is a thicker ring it's a thicker ring i got the heritage style and then it does have those notches on the inside and the led sensor so you really have to go try it on to see you know if it'll work for you but anyway let me um get to five below hopefully it's not crazy because yesterday when we went there before we went downtown it was crazy packed full of kids and parents and all that good jazz so yeah like i said i love a good five below trip i know it's mostly toys and stuff for the children but yeah baby i love a good five below trip so let me get to five below and then honestly though y'all i'll probably just bring y'all back out after i get the groceries um, I may meal prep a little bit with y'all, but while I'm out and about, I'm just going to be running errands and probably getting content from my book channel since I'm finna go in Barnes & Noble. So let's do it. All right, gang, we have come to the end of the vlog real quick. Not even too many groceries. Y'all know we got stuff left over, but y'all love to see. That is my dog. <laughs> y'all know Benji. Um, y'all love to see. So <clears throat> this week, um, just got some Coke Zeros. Y'all know I love Coke Zero. Baby, 
if I could, I would be a Coke Zero, okay? I used to really love Dr. Pepper, but I don't know. It's Coke for me. Also got some um, Mountain Dew Zero. Um, I like these, but Babe likes these more. I got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I got some boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins. And I like to get both of these um, all the time because we do different things. Like with these, sometimes we slice them thin for like chicken sandwiches and stuff. And then we like to chop these up and slice them. So got those um grabbed grab some buttermilk waffles um i got some coleslaw um because i want to do egg roll in a bowl this week got some ground turkey got my favorite paper towels y'all already know and then i grabbed some korean barbecue stir fry sauce because i want to use this on either ground turkey or chicken this week with vegetables and maybe some rice and then i also got this season salt and that's about it we already have water we got everything else we need so i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here thank y'all so much for watching i will be back with the follow-up video maybe in like a month or so specifically about my aura ring so this is it um like i said i'm still trying to see what finger i want to have it on and get used to it so i will give many updates in videos to come but then i'll probably do a sit down update um in about a month or so so hope you guys enjoy watching and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys